So this is currently what our kitchen looks like. Um, yeah. And then this is what our living room looks like. Sorry, the curtains are closed. Just stuff everywhere. So, basically, hello. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. It is now, the festive period in my mind is over. Finished, done with. Um, and we are in our house, so the last, so we basically made the decision not to come to the house over Christmas and we just stayed at my parents and also Alex went up to his parents in Surrey for a bit so ideally we would have moved in you know there's that weird week after Christmas where um there's nothing to do ideally we would have made some progress then but Alex spent some time with his parents in Surrey which is obviously much more important so we moved in um properly aside from dumping our stuff like you saw in the last vlogs two days ago was it on the, the on the first of january yesterday i had i just i had a bit of a mare like i'm gonna be honest i the first night we moved in there was a spider in a hole in one of the bedrooms um in our bedroom that were supposed to be the master bedroom so we had to move bedrooms because it was terrifying and it was right by my face and now we're in the second bedroom and then I just ended up feeling really anxious. I couldn't sleep, I cried. And I just think it was all of the, um, like everything, you know, when it's just like, everything's been going on for so long and then it's finally over. And there's a lot of stress and a lot of waiting around and a lot of, I don't know, it's, it was a weird feeling and I just had this horrible knot in my stomach and I, I just couldn't sleep. And then the next day I was planning on, yesterday I was planning on doing loads of the house um sorting everything out and putting everything in its place and i slept all day so i woke up i did a bit of work like emails and stuff which was good and then i got into bed because i just felt so tired and it was ibs related so yeah the stress does it for me if i feel stressed or anxious then i eat when i eat anything i just feel very lethargic so yeah i didn't get anything done yesterday but also i'm not going to view it as a failure it was productive in that i had rest and i feel loads better today well hopefully i don't feel bad again this afternoon because it tends to be for me the afternoons are the tricky period but at least i'm up in the morning and i can get some stuff done so the plan today we're going to go to tesco because we have no food and maybe we'll take you along because it's our first tesco run and there's also internet there because we do not have internet in the house yet so we're gonna go to Tesco, get some food, get some internet. Um, I need to reply to some emails. And then uh, we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna try and sort as much as possible in this house. And I'm gonna be doing like a proper decluttering and kind of an update video on my main channel because I really wanna declutter some stuff. Cause when you move, you realize how much shit you have. But for now, I just want everything to be in its place and um, even in piles because we don't have any furniture really. This place doesn't have much storage and our flat in Brighton had a lot of storage so a lot of stuff is going to be sitting until we can figure out storage solutions that was a lot of talking I hope everyone's doing well this video is probably going to be a long one knowing the fact that we've got so much to do today I'm looking forward to it though I spent the whole of Christmas Pinteresting everything for the house and I've called up some hello Alex what channel is this for? vlog channel hello hello everybody Hello. Um, yeah, Hello, I've, what? We haven't vlogged since last year. Ha ha ha. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, I spent the whole holiday Pinteresting everything on um, this house because I've made pretty much every decision I feel like. I'm sure I'll change my mind once I've lived here for a while, but we're having builders in um, to look at the house next week because uh, we want to do the upstairs straight away, hopefully. We'll see. But, um, the bathroom upstairs having lived here it's so small the sink upstairs is so small that when i clean my teeth i can't really even spit in it because you have to put your face down so low and then the shelf you hit your head on the shelf and you have to kind of literally put your whole face in the sink to spit the toothpaste out so i think that it will be a very very good thing and when you sit on the toilet it's so small that you can't close the door because you're well i'm very tall so i can't close the door because it hits my legs when they close the door <laughs> so um we really want the upstairs to be done as soon as possible and 
Ah, oh, so much, so much to do, but I'm excited. Hello. How are you dealing with the low ceilings? Are they, are you, are you, have you gained a permanent stump yet? I really regret buying this house. <laughs> the amount of comments about the low ceilings is ridiculous. People just don't understand that in the UK, um, low ceilings are just a thing. If you live in a cottage, yeah. there's going to be low ceilings most, but, but a lot of the time. It's not the low ceilings that bother me. It's that teeny tiny sink. Yeah, that sink, I was just saying, it's crazy. <laughs> so, it's like, because my parents have a small sink in their downstairs toilet, but that is just another level of trying to wash your hands and clean your teeth. Yeah, when you clean your teeth, you have to like, put your whole face in it. Yeah, it's quite funny. So I was saying that it's really important we sort the bathroom out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make myself look a little bit more presentable and we're gonna go to Tesco. Oh, we did actually make a lot of progress with this kitchen. So we have put stuff in the cupboards. This is all of the snacks and all the chocolate we have left from Christmas, it's ridiculous. This cupboard's looking pretty great with all of the jars. Can you see how it's slanted? Because these walls are like crooked. I did not notice that at all. Yeah, look at this one. So it's like fully, like, if it's like fully leaning back. It's really oh, funny. Yeah, but it keeps everything in. <laughs> but yeah, at least we've done that and we did buy a fridge. We've got a secondhand fridge for 80 pounds. Um, that has nothing in it apart from schlur and wine and some leftover rice. But we're very pleased to have got that because it's basically the same as our one in Brighton, but we didn't want a new one because we're, we'll get a new proper one when we do up the kitchen and we have to do the extension. But I'm um, excited to speak with builders, find out how much stuff costs because I have an idea, but I don't have a proper idea and it'd be interesting for them to go away and tell me how much generally an idea of where, what we're looking at but we can do the upstairs first that shouldn't be too too pricey so we're up and out i feel much refreshed i've put some nice clothes on i think you i think you woke me up when i was in like deep sleep mm, you were very I, hard to I wake up so morning. like out of it mm. i think because last night we didn't sleep that well i like, did not no, I mean, oh the, not night, the before. night before yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, last night I did sleep pretty good. Yeah, I felt like I felt creeped out yesterday because of the spider scenario and feeling just anxious in the house. Yeah. And it was our first night there, and because everything's just dumped, nothing is put away, and Very it's nice windows. Yeah, we were looking at all the windows because we're changing our windows. Yeah. Um, yeah, the our, in our house we've dumped all our stuff and then kind of moved it around a little bit, so it's like a mess. So it, it feels not cosy and not home, homely or whatever the word is at all. Because um, I know some Americans say homely, homely is an offensive thing. I think it's homey in America. In the UK, when you say homely, you mean cosy. Yeah, but I think in America, homely, it's, it's like an insult. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean that like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just. I, I'm really looking forward to today. I feel better today. And yesterday we watched Bird Box at my sister's house because my sister's also moved down to Cornwall and she lives 20 minutes away from us now, which is so nice. Um, I'm going back there this evening for a girly night with um, my sister Charlie and also her boyfriend's sisters because um, they live down here too and Tom, my sister's boyfriend, and Alex are gonna go to watch the football. What? Ball, this is what, ball. and this is like, I'm so happy that we've already moved down. This is what I missed. This is like, like so important to me is to be able to spend time with my family and friends and just like be able to go out and be sociable. We couldn't do that in Brighton. We didn't have anyone we knew near us. I mean, we had some family there, but we didn't have our immediate family and like our best friends. So yay. Um, anyway, we're going to Tesco now. It's a really big one. It's a Tesco extra. Cool. So it's got everything. You yes, never want. it does. And it also has a cafe, so we're going back to the old days when we were in <laughs> Brighton and we first moved yeah. in. Remember when we did the countdown to internet? Yeah. We should redo that. Yes. It's five days. Five days. So we have, there's a cafe and they have internet, so we're going to sit and have breakfast at the cafe and do some work. Yeah, they had a avocado on toast labelled vegan on their menu. Yeah. So I think I'll have that. For £2.95. Yeah. So we'll do that and I've got an email to send and I've... We can download some more Netflix. Not well, later. I don't think we'll spend much time there. I literally need to just send oh, one okay. email. What were you doing? Well, we don't. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. So I didn't end up eating any of the breakfast because it was cold and burnt. <laughs> so now I'm going to go do a bit of shopping and get everything we need. Look, they're now stocking the semi and whole oatly. I think I'm going to get some. I'm done with the shopping and I'm waiting for Alex to finish in the cafe. 
and I'm very embarrassed right now to be vlogging. For some reason, vlogging in Cornwall, where I'm from, feels so different to me because I just, for some reason, feel like people know me. I don't know. Um, by the way, when I said that I didn't have the breakfast because it was cold and burnt, Alex ate it, so don't worry. Uh, I'm going to have one of these and then I'll have some food when I get back. Let's go! Also, good news, on the way here, don't know if I said, the builders rang. So, um, we rang a builder who, um, my sister's boyfriend, Tom, <laughs> I'm just, you guys, can you just remember who Tom is? I don't have to say my <laughs> sister's boyfriend every time. Tom's parents, um, recommended these builders to us because they did their house and they said they were great. So we rang them and they're coming over on Saturday. I'm so excited. Yeah, so they're coming over to look at the house on Saturday and it means that, um, we can get a clear idea of everything and that's very exciting. Are they looking at the upstairs or the house? We'll show them whole, everything, yeah, and I we'll suppose, just have a conversation with them and if get you to know use them. them, for them one and... thing, you use them for the rest, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, I would want to keep. I mean, the good thing is that we're doing the upstairs first, so hopefully, if we have some good builders and they do it really well, then we can um, have that trust and use them for the main extension. Yep, yep, yep. And it's always good to know if um, someone's recommended them because they did uh, their house, and their house is lovely. I've been there, it's beautiful, it's really done wonderfully, so. Yeah, that makes me excited. Well, that's the main worry with builders. Yeah, like. and they sound really nice on the phone, so I'm excited um, because the upstairs does need to be done. So we just did a shop and put everything away, and this is what it looks like. Slightly underwhelming, but there is some <laughs> all our veggies in here because we don't know how to put it right now. But we're gonna make some lunch. I'm still pretty full. I'm gonna make some lunch. <laughs> lunch is served. So oh, I think it's pretty obvious that we need to tackle this mess right now. legs on the sofa so it's a proper sofa now oh, it's much better isn't it yeah look at this lovely cushion my sister got me for Christmas I love it so much she's so smart she found it on my Pinterest and then because it was on an American website she found like a really similar one in the UK and got it for me I love it <sighs> it's nice to sit here isn't it to sit visit. here nice and there's television we're not gonna leave that there though well, not indefinitely, but now that it's there, um, it's a good thing. I think we left the. Well, shouldn't power... it be over there to the side of the pipe? Well, really, I just wanted it. It looks really big now. It's this close. <laughs> Alex just wants it really. But I've left. Yeah. <laughs> if Alex lived here by himself. Oh, yeah. If Alex lived here by himself, he would just leave the television in front of the pipe. Do you remember <laughs> when? You? Yeah, when my flatmate at uni went home mm -hmm. for the holidays, and I moved the TV into my bedroom. And played Minecraft in bed. Alex, no, we had to put the television over there. Yeah, we were, I just put to it the there side. Just to get it out of the way, set it up. Um, the power cable is still at your parents' house, I've realised. So we can't watch shit till tomorrow, which is probably a good thing because otherwise I'd just sit here and do nothing. Well, We've done quite a lot. Yeah. Those sofas are very heavy to put the uh, things on. I reckon oh. now I'm in this space, we'll get a different sofa. I don't think it fits the space. Is it? Mm. I think what we need is two smaller sofas. Well, I don't know, L shape is the dream. Yeah, but if you sit here, you can get the sunlight, you can read, yeah, and you have the radiator. When we do French doors, you can't really have a sofa in yeah, front of them. When? Yeah, yeah well, no, no, I'll keep the sofa until yeah, we do okay, everything. Right. But when we get French know, doors. You can take this L off and use it as a poof instead. But we've already got a poof, so that's pointless. Yeah, you have double the poof. No, I think that. I'm sure people will agree with me that this sofa is not right for the space because of that. So we'll probably get either an L shape that goes this way, like that, or I think because of the cottagey feel, 
a three seater and then a two seater here or a three seater and then a, oh. a big comfy chair right didn't you want so it'd be the same amount of seating. That space there, didn't you want like a rocking chair or something comfy? And then this space here, or maybe what you could do is you could have a two seater coming out here, a three seater along there, and then a big comfy chair over here to like read and like have a little reading corner because I want to have like bookshelves and. This room I probably planned the least because um, it's the most blank canvas room. It yeah. doesn't really need anything right now, so it's my head I'm really. It's the most acceptable to live in. And I've like kind of, I planned. Um, not decorating, but like building kind of stuff, like building the bathroom and where the stuff in the bathroom is going to go. And I wanted to put like tongue and groove panelling in the bathroom, kind of like in the hallway, because it's so, so pretty and cottagey. And like where the bedrooms and that type of stuff and what the kitchen's going to be like, like things like decorating where chairs are going to go doesn't really mm. bother me. But because this house has like no storage, um, there's no cupboards. That's the top priority is when we have builders in, is to get a really great carpenter to build in wardrobes and um, cupboard space. Um, Do you like built-in wardrobes though? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if we've said this. So in the tour video, I said that we were gonna move the ensuite across to the middle so there was access from the hallway. But we were talking over Christmas and we realized oh. a lot of you guys commented yeah. Yeah. saying, why don't you just make the fourth tiny room the bathroom because um, it would make more sense and we totally agree because we'd avoided that thought because we wanted to keep four bedrooms but then realistically when we when we do the extension we will have a, a study slash bedroom downstairs um, because the dining space that is there now will become a study slash bedroom so we won't actually lose bedrooms because obviously we don't want to like decrease the value of the house or anything and but, um, um, having a proper bathroom Having a proper bathroom we'll will make it. For losing exactly. a bedroom, even if we had to, yeah. Because the bathroom upstairs, if we move it, will be tiny and it'll be a, such a squished bathroom with no window. So um, having it in that bedroom, that bedroom would be tiny, even smaller than it is as well if we pushed into it even more. So it will have a really nice sized bathroom, like the perfect sized bathroom with a lovely window and three really good sized bedrooms because there'll be a distinct master bedroom as well, which is also really good. Anyway, we're going to carry on now. I've had my little break, my little. I haven't. Same for break. Food. Oh yeah, Alex is going to have some lunch. Or some hash browns. Also, another thing we've been thinking of doing, we have to speak to the builders about this, but this, because it's so low when you walk up the stairs, we're thinking in the hallway we could add a step like this, so it adds space for when you go up the stairs, because if you watch me go up the stairs, so when I go down I have to do that, um, and like this door doesn't bother me, because it's not too tall and Alex just has to do this a bit. Um, the archway in the kitchen, we can hopefully, speaking of, well, once we speak to builders, raise it slightly. I'm not sure how, my mum seemed to think that would be fine. So we'll see if we can do something like that because I just think it would be better just to have it a little bit bigger. The, like I said in the tour video, that one, this cupboard space down here is gonna be a cupboard, so it won't matter anymore. Um, but it's just this one, so like when you reach here, it's kind of like, oh, you can bang your head. Keeping in mind, I am five foot 11, so I'm not a normal sized human being. Um, so yeah, if it's not a crazy expense, I think that that would be a good little thing to do um, because you could have, I've seen that before in hallways when you just have like little steps. Um, and I don't suppose why that would be difficult to do. And this is where we've been sleeping. Um, because there was a spider in this room. So there's a tiny little hole in the corner of this room. Look. So there's a hole there and there is a spider in there. So originally we had the bed here and then there's the hole and I was going to sleep here and I lay down to sleep and then I looked at the hole and I was like, oh my god, there's a spider in that hole. So we had to move the bed and everything and it was pretty scary. But anyway, yeah, when we, um, move the bathroom, this will all be gone. This is gonna go, this bathroom, which before, before we decided this, it would have still been here a little bit. We'd have just kind of cut in a little bit to that space, but now it's gonna be totally gone, as is the chimney breast, hopefully, if that's possible. I think it is, the surveyor said it is. And then if you think, it will go all the way back to there, this room, so it'll be a really lovely big room, all the way down there and all the way down across there, and then we'll build in a wardrobe across. And then this room, 
will become a bathroom. And they'll have wood floors and this this will go hopefully the chimney rest and that will be where the shower is and then there'll be a toilet there and then a bath under the window there and then a sink here and then a towel rack there and then i can put shelves i think i'll do a closet like a cupboard and then the bath and then shelves across here above the bath and then um because the window sills are so deep there's loads of room there as well for storage to put things i might even We'll put a few like baskets or something on there. So it's gonna be a lovely bathroom and I think it's literally the perfect size bathroom. It's so nice. So excited. We took these paintings down and now that, that we know why they put them up because there's like someone's actually put, oh, these are sticky back. I thought it was an actual painting. I think probably ripped that off. Hmm. That looks like a weird sticker. Yeah, <laughs> it's very strange. So a lot of progress has been made in this room. This is dirty washing. Here are the bedside tables and when we have a chest of drawers we can put this in. This is my onesies. Some of my workout clothes and bike clothes, pajamas, socks and underwear, shoes, my clothes, Alex's clothes, which also need to go in a chest of drawers. So, uh, Alex's, the rest of his clothes, his shoes. And then these are my jumpers, so many merch hoodies. And then down here are toiletries and stuff um, and winter stuff. And because this is our bathroom and there's only this cupboard. So I put some things in here and there's my makeup bag. But um, this is like the remaining toiletries, medicine and supplements and stuff. Oh, this room was a mish but it's done and I feel so much better and downstairs now feels more achievable having done this and it means that like when we wake up in the morning we have clothes to wear I've been wearing like, the same clothes over and over again and if we get rid of the spider we can move the bed in here and make this our room so it just makes more sense but we may end up having to move it back because when the builders come <laughs> I knew you were there I could see you oh, tell me. that's why we need new doors so I can scare you Alex, there's a bag in this corner that you need to tackle right now because Alex collects stuff, bits and pieces in bags. Ow! Yeah, he likes to collect random- Bits and pieces, it's, it's, it's important things, usually like charges and stuff, but I just- That he doesn't put away. I put them in silly places. Yes, so I ain't doing that. Because <laughs> I, I have, it. I'm organized and I put things where they belong. So now is the little bitty bits left, which are, are annoying. And then the kitchen has become a state. So I'm going to try. Like what do you mean? Well, let's try. Put them away. So much mess. We just had lunch, didn't we? But we've got to put all this stuff away. So mm. I'm going to do that. And then Alex is going to tackle putting all these things in the right rooms. Now we have to look at this for a while. Huh? Now we have to look at sort of. No, you won't. You can paint it. Oh, we need to paint the whole wall a different colour. What have you done? Oh, that's satisfying there. There we go. I'm gone. Renovations have begun. <laughs> a lot of progress has been made in the kitchen, as you can see. Now I can see what I'm doing with all of my things. And then over here, Alex bought this toaster because it matches our kettle. Because he m misses having a toaster. We didn't have a toaster in the last place because we couldn't fit it. So we used to use our toasty machine um, and get it out and put it up. But now we can have a proper toaster and Alex can have all the toast he wants. And ignore that, I just did the washing up. But yeah, it just we've made a lot of progress here. This is still a mess, but we're getting there, we're getting there. And Alex is making progress in here. Look, there's more space in here now. Sofa's up. Woo! I reckon we'll finish the vlog here though, because it's been quite a long day. Um, and I can film an update video. I think I was going to do um, like an update vlog on my channel about the move. So all the normal day to day vlogs will be on here. But what I'll try and do is do like a diary on my channel. So I will use some clips from the vlog channel um, just to summarize. So I'll go over it all on that channel. Because um, I think that's the best way to keep it 
separate and that'll be the first of the sort of renovation diaries and the moving diaries and I just want to document it like maybe once a fortnight once a month as it all goes on so yeah we will see you tomorrow say goodbye Alex huh? say goodbye, uh, goodbye. <laughs> we won't see you tomorrow we'll see you in the next vlog we're gonna be uploading three times a week from now on so yay <laughs> bye <laughs>